start by cleaning the surface where you're going to be changing the dressing. Throw away the wipe and your gloves if you are wearing any. Wash your hands. Hand sanitizer is fine to use unless your hands are visibly soiled. Open the dressing change kit, being sure to maintain sterile technique and not touch anything inside the kit. It helps to have a garbage can nearby. Remove the top sheet. This will maintain sterility on your field. By just touching the edges, open the sheet up and lay it out on your cleaned surface. At this point, make sure everyone in the room has a hat on their head and masks on their face. Remember in the kit, there are two masks, but no hair covers. You'll have to get those separate. Put on clean gloves to remove the old dressing. You can use alcohol swabs to loosen the edges of the dressing. When you remove the dressing, start at the pants, find the little notch, and start separating from there. Always pull upwards on the dressing. Never start from the top down. You wanna be careful that you're not pulling on the driveline. You can stabilize the driveline with one hand if necessary. Take off your clean, clean gloves and throw away the gloves and the dressing. Wash your hands again and get ready to put on your sterile gloves. Remember when you're putting on your sterile gloves, you do not want to touch the outside of the gloves with your bare hands. Now you want to remove the items from the package or you can leave them in the package as they are in the order you'll need them. You're going to start with the first CHG or chlorhexidine swab. Squeeze the wings and make sure the fluid gets into the sponge. Use the first swab to remove any debris that you see around the driveline entrance to the skin. Do not remove any scabs from the driveline site. Those would eventually fall off on their own. Once you have removed any debris from the driveline site, use the second CHG swab to scrub back and forth around the driveline site and the skin for 30 seconds. Make sure you use good friction to clean the skin. Once you're done cleaning, allow the chlorhexidine to dry for three minutes on the skin. This is a good time to tell stories or tell jokes. At the two minute mark of waiting for the CHG to dry, you can use the skin prep. Open the skin prep swab and paint a square on the outer edges of where the dressing will go. As this dries, it will remain a little bit shiny and a little bit tacky. We're almost done. At this point, you're going to take the shirt from your dressing and you're going to apply that over the driveline site. Do your best to try to center where the driveline enters the skin inside the window. The notch at the bottom of the dressing should be placed over top of the driveline. Make sure it is on secure. Next, take the pants. Do not remove the paper off the pants until you place it underneath the driveline and firmly get it in place. Remove the paper one side at a time and smooth out any wrinkles that you have. Your dressing is now in place. Last, but certainly not least, we wanna make sure that we put the stabilizing anchor on the patient. Take the Foley anchor, place it on the driveline before you put it on the patient's skin. Secure the driveline with the silicone loops. Pull it tight. Remove the backing on the anchor and adhere it to the patient's skin. At this point, your dressing change is finished. Throw away all of your used supplies and remember when you need to change the dressing again.